Hey guys, it's Bitcoin Schmitcoin here with another update for Bitcoin Magazine's video analysis. We'll be taking a look at the monthly time frame, working down to the weekly, the daily, and focusing on the four hour time frame today. The one thing I want to point out on the monthly time frame is this swing high here. I've outlined this several times uh, over the past few videos, and uh, it looks like it's holding a support for the time being. So let's get a, a closer look here. Um, when we look at the weekly time frame, we see something very interesting. So a couple of things to point out. We see that our current weekly candle, although it still has not closed, it's a very good chance this thing is going to close a higher low. So what that means is we had a low, a high, and then a higher low here. Also something to point out is that this wick took out this whole range of prices right here and gathered up a lot of liquidity for patient strong bulls and we can see with our current candle that we saw a very strong buying response off of this level the prior video i was calling this minor support and so far it's holding when we look at the daily time frame we see just how big this move was it encapsulated an entire several weeks worth of prices within this range and it launched off with a 1400 dollars move this morning we rallied from 7,300 and peaked out at around 8,800, so 1,500. And uh, you know the, da the daily candle still has yet to close. And something that's really good in the bull's corner so far is that we haven't cleared this high. If we manage to clear the high by the end of the day, we really don't want to see this clear the high and then go back down. Um, that could mean that maybe we're going to come back down for some level retests down in here. But uh, so far, this thing's looking really good. When we look at the four hour time frame, we see a little bit more resolution and we can see quite clearly just how big this move was. So at following this drop, which came about on a uh, very high volume, it rallied out of there on even higher volume and higher spread. And this just goes to show us that uh, although this was looking bearish, it looks like it was a campaign to gather liquidity below support and really shove this market into, into new highs. Um, it's quite possible that we could see this thing pull back in the in the medium term to uh, this level right here. This is where uh, we'll be keeping an eye out as the 8400. Um, if this does pull back, we want to find this as support. We don't want to see the price go back below this $8,200 level because that's you know that would show overall market weakness. But so far, this thing's looking really really bullish, guys. And the level to keep an eye out on if we see a breakout to the upside is this band of prices right here. If we can tackle this, well then we're gonna be uh, looking pretty, in, in, in pretty good condition for a continuation of our macro uptrend. When I say macro uptrend, I mean when we look at the weekly, uh, we can see that uh, the market's been in a strong uptrend, although it's been quite choppy on the lower time frames. we can see that you know it's been in a strong uptrend and we just made our, our second higher low in an otherwise trending upward market so um, when we look at this four hour time frame we don't really want to see it give back up the support that it just reclaimed the bulls fought hard to break through this level uh, exhausted a lot of bearish pressure and uh, it's quite possible this thing's just going to keep going and keep going so uh, you know keep an eye out on this I wouldn't be too eager to short this because um, we just had it weeks you know almost an entire month of consolidation here and we're blasting right through all this long held resistance. So uh, there's going to be a lot of short liquidity. And if we pop this level uh, with a strong impulse, it's going to keep going. Um, it's going to keep going because there's everyone who shorted for the last month has their stop set right here. And uh, if it sees a strong breakout, it's most likely just going to keep going. Um, we really don't want to see this break this level and come back down. Like I was saying, but uh, so far, this is looking really bullish. It's cleared a lot of resistance levels already. And now the next level to beat is going to be this 8,700. And then following that is going to be this 95 to $9,200 level. Um, that would have us retesting our prior range right here, uh, all of these lows right here. So uh, that's most. it's quite possible it's going to be strong resistance. But given how many shorts are trapped here, it's also possible we could just break right through it. So um, uh, again, I would not recommend trying to fade this move because uh, it's it's set up for a massive, 
massive short squeeze to the upside and the target is just uh it, it gets aggressive pretty quickly once we start breaking these levels so um keep an eye out for the daily close we really want to see this daily candle close um either close these are the two options we either want to see it close a new high meaning it, it breaks out above this and closes above this swing high at uh 80 8800 or we want to see it close below and uh, quite possibly come back down here and retest support. That's also uh, um, a bullish situation. We really don't want to see it come break out above this level and retrace. Uh, that could raise some eyebrows there. But so far, the move is still really fresh. So, um, you know, sometimes patience pays. And uh, if you were a patient bull that, that entered on this break of the swing low, then you're sitting pretty fat right now. So um, again, keep an eye out on the swing high at 88.20 and uh, watch for a retest of support at 83.75, it's, uh, around 8,400 if we pull back down here. Um, and uh, similarly, if we break this high, watch for this resistance level, this band of prices between 95.80 and uh, 92.50.